Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about application of integration. So now I want to show you how to answer. Question 8. We need to find the integration from 0 to number 20. So from 0 to number 20 in here. Here is about the function. So we see that the application that is about in terms of areas. That means if we want to find this integration, we need to find the area from 0 to number 20 under the graph in here. So that means we need to find the area of this one. So when we calculate about this area, we can divide into two figures. The first one that is about the rectangle. And the second one that is about the triangle. So for the first one, this one we know that that's about number 10. So we have 20 multiplied by 10 because we have the length multiplied by the width. And the next one, that is about the triangle. So we know that from 0 to number 20, that's a for this one. So this one you got about number 20. From number 10 to number 30, that's it for here. You got about 20. So we have 20 multiplied by 20. We divide by 2 because this is about the triangle in here. And this one, we have 400. So we put 400 in here. And we know that if the graph of pro S axis, this is about positive. If this one, oh sorry, if this one below S axis, this one you only negative. Now, question B. We want to find the integration from 0 to number 50. Number 50 in here. So we need to find the area of this one plus the area of this one. So we can find the integration from 0 to number 50. So we need to divide this one into two figures in here. We have the rectangle and the triangle. This one we have 30. So from 20 to number 30, that's about 10. From this point to this point, we have 30. So we have 10 multiplied by 30 plus the area, the area of the triangle. From 50 to 30, that's about 20. From 0 to number 30, we have 30. Then we need to add about the area of this one. So we calculate this one. And we have 1000. Now let's go to question C. Question C, that's it from 50 to number 70. If we look carefully, this one below S axis. So we need to create about negative number in here. So from 50 to 70, we have 20. From here to here, we have negative 30. So now we have 20 multiplied by negative 30 over number 2. And this one, we have negative 300. And the last one, we want to find the integration from 0 to 90. So 90, that's it in here. So we need to find the area of this one 
and this one so later that we sum everything numbers in here so we will have about 400 plus 1000 oh sorry just 1000 because we have the interaction from 0 to 50 and now from 50 to 70 that's it about negative 300 and then we will have about 70 to 90 this is about 20 this one we have negative 20 and the next one this one to this one we have number 20 from negative 20 to negative 30 this is about negative number 10 so we sum all the value going here and we have 200 and this is the final answer that is the end Thank you for watching.